Howdy, everyone. Welcome back to Build Tune Race. <laughs> so we're actually back over here working on the Camaro and starting to get the tube front end kit put on. So we have the Rock Solid Motorsports tube front end kit. Kind of got the jack stands here, like they say, to put it on there. They say to throw a couple tacks up here in the corners. Uh, and then add the upper bars, which like this one goes here. Something like that-ish. And then ties in down there. So that's what's on the agenda today, is trying to get this all tacked together and start building out the two front ends. So then once this is all done, we can kind of finish up the engine bay, get an engine put in it, and then start building the turbo kit or twin turbo kit for this build. So if you guys are looking to put one of these on your car, hopefully this helps and uh, let's get started. So I got all the pieces out of the box and I ended up going with the complete kit on this one. So this includes the headlight brackets and everything to pretty much put it right back to where it was. Here's the front little piece where everything mounts on the front bumper and then the down tubes main frame rail tubes another down tube and then those are the little mounts here they go across the back but we need to start with tacking these in the instructions and mentions to tack inside inside or outside outside so then you can manipulate the frame rails a little bit to make sure everything fits we're gonna start with this one then that one and then we have the center bar that will connect the two that's what holds it kind of square and then we can work on the upper tubes to come down, but pretty much we need to tack everything together, make sure it all fits before we start really welding on it. If you guys didn't catch the first part, I'll throw it up here. This is where we cut the front end off of the car, took all the measurements, all that, and now this is actually rebuilding it. So got that side tack got that side tack now alex is kind of holding this so these plates are actually cut and shaped to go into the, like the little triangulated piece that usually comes on these camaros a lot of people cut those off to save weight like what i did so what we're going to do is we're just going to try to hang it right here off this edge real good tack it make sure it fits up to the tube down here really good and then we can kind of get those two tack and then we'll throw the center bar in there We'll see where we're at. All right, so inside tack there, a couple two little inside tacks there because there's not much material there. And as you guys can see, this is where we'll have to go back and brace it. But otherwise, this side's kind of in place. Now we're going to start putting this bar on there. Once we kind of get that held in place, then we'll tack it. I'm leaving these till later, and then we'll get the center bar in, make sure everything's square, and then because everything can still pull in pretty easy right now. So it's nothing, it's nothing's too solid yet. Okay. Alex is like, it was so close. <laughs> God dang it. What? Wrong I can't weld with my grinding shield. Well, I mean, I could, but I just wouldn't be able to see afterwards. Oh, God. What? I don't think we cleaned that side very good. And clean fucking paint. Yeah, I forgot to take the paint off. <laughs> Step number half before you weld, clean paint. So I got to wire wheel the crap out of that first. Well, second, and then first before the next welds. Hope you guys appreciate that. We have to turn that off and sweat even more every time we talk to the camera now. So, uh, got everything all pretty much in place other than the front bar, which that'll be easy, and then the headlight mounts. But I ran out of welding rod. That's, that's all I had left. And I left my uh, rod over at my dad's when we were doing the cage. Um, but I do want some smaller welding rod actually to hopefully make the welds a little bit smaller. So we're going to go find some welding rod and then we'll be back to weld on this thing some more. Oh, and lunch. Yep. Don't forget lunch. Oh, I don't forget lunch. We never forget a mill around here. <laughs> so we got my welding wire and just been working our way through welding here, there, here, there, over there, some over there, a little bit more over there, some more over there. And uh, we're making some progress. Alex getting the wheels off. Eventually, we got to put the wheel woods on the front uh, and go kind of freshen up the front end stuff. But it's coming along. I kind of want to get all that welded before I start adding more tubes here and all that stuff coming down there. But really pretty easy to install. Just cutting everything at first. Trying to make sure your cuts are as square as possible is definitely going to help. I have a few little gaps that I'm having to weld. But, you know, it is what it is. Alex has been over here working on getting all this old crap out so we can get ready for the new brakes. Came out pretty decent, huh? Yeah. Not bad for a car with 150,000 miles. Just had to, you know, use the fix-all and uh, got that popped out of there. So taking that apart, working on that. I think I'm gonna order some tubular lowers. Not so worried about having this in tubular. I mean, there's not a lot of weight savings in that, I don't think, but definitely gonna try to run some adjustable lower 
Control arms, otherwise feels pretty good to be back on this thing, and we just gotta keep welding more. How you doing? Well, welcome back. I've spent a few hours uh, yesterday welding up all of everything that's on here so far. And now we're gonna continue with the tube front end by adding the front bar and then the headlight brackets and all that stuff today. Alex spent some time the other day too pulling apart all the suspension, so we don't have a roller no more, so. He's taking it apart while I'm trying to put stuff back together and well, we're just one day this thing might get built with you disassembling and me reassembling, but uh, Alex really likes making stuff look nice and paint and doing all that stuff. So we're probably going to try to strip all this, repaint the bay and do all that stuff as well in a future video. But uh, otherwise Alex was just wire wheeling the crap out of the front spindles to see kind of what it looks like. If we want to try to powder coat these or whatever to uh, make them look nicer than nice, but we're gonna uh, figure that out as we go because they are coated, but we're just deciding like, do we want to make them, you know, black or white or really make it ne look nice with the, uh, with, the, with the front end here. But uh, while well, he works on that, I'm gonna start pulling up the instructions to put that front bar on there. <laughs> Looking at the instructions, it says just to place this somewhere here. If you're ever needing to kind of squeeze in a tube to get it to kind of set so you're not trying to push in on it, a uh, strap always comes in super handy. Alex been going hard at wire wheeling. Uh, this is like what we pulled off, grease and a little bit of surface rust, and just kind of gross. And that's after a quick wire wheel job of trying to clean everything up. So Alex actually picked up a powder coat kit for me and we want to start trying to powder coat some parts to make it real nice looking but we got to find an oven that this fits in and i don't want to run like a full size oven in here so i've been looking for like the little 110 ovens we just got to measure this and see if we can fit it in one but i think we should be able to so um once it's all broke down it doesn't look too bad so a little bit of freshen a little bit of clean a little bit of fixing old parts and uh a little bit of kicking kick, kicking parts over but i'm gonna keep going on this and like i was just telling alex we'll probably have to hang a fender or two and then that front bumper on here to see kind of what we need to do to mount that front piece um, and then reach up in here and probably tack it. So after doing a bunch of scrolling on Rock Solid Motorsports Instagram, I think we're going to rehang the front end at this point because this bar could move forward and back and then it also changes the position of this, well not really this, but where you would use this little bar, it appears that people build little standoffs that come up well to the bottom of this. Um, and then that positions, you know, your kind of your front bumper and all that stuff. So we're gonna get some fenders hung back on this thing. And then also we can use that at the same time to know where exactly we wanna mount the headlights. So I think it's just a good time to kind of mount this on. We'll be able to raise the car up, tack everything in, remove the front end, and then finish welding everything up and then we're not kind of necessarily guessing as to where it goes even though on rock solids thing it does say you know reference your measurement from before it should be 12 inches up off the deal but uh all this front end stuff it looks like some people slide it all the way back to this bar some people are way out here it kind of depends on what type of turbo setup you're running or setup in general uh what type of radiator you're going to run and all that type of stuff so um, we're gonna get the front end hung and then make our best judgment off of that. Dang, almost back together. Not quite. But uh, anyway, so the only thing we're noticing is that these little buckets here on the Camaro rub the inner bar. So the people that are sliding this bar all the way back to here are completely clearing that little, you know, inlet, air inlet deal. But uh, really it just touches it barely. So it's not even that big of a deal. So it almost would work there too. And then as I'm fabbing up other stuff, I know exactly where the edge of that is because nothing else is going to be able to really come any further forward than that. Um, we're kind of looking at some other things. This front bumper is pretty rough, so I might end up ordering a whole new bumper. We're just looking at those. Summit, 85 bucks. I don't know the quality though. We'll see. It's like a Sherman. So if you guys know a Sherman front bumper covers, whatever, let me know. Alex will sit here and squeeze and push and figure out exactly the way we want to go with that. Big fit and finish guy. And um, yeah. I mean, otherwise it's looking pretty good and then we can kind of grab the headlight it's over there in the mess of things kind of mount it in here see um, make sure all our mounts look good and then hold this up in here something like so and probably put a couple bolts in there to hang it and then as you guys can see that's where we got to make the little standoffs to come up and tie to that there across that bar so otherwise I don't think that's gonna be too bad 
So Alex was just holding this up and looking at it, and if we want the mounts to come straight down off of this, it probably will work best so it's not squeezing in on the bumper at all to move this bar right up into here. So it won't be exactly, but we're gonna, we're gonna, I think we're gonna take this off, cut this little tacks, slide that bar forward, and then uh, rehang this bumper on here, and then we'll do the headlights. But I think that's definitely gonna be the way to go. It's just to slide that bar on the Camaros probably makes more sense for it to be closer to the uh, to these bars here. Um, it does kind of help hang the bumper, but it also kind of like squeezes it too, so. Alex, money don't jiggle, jiggle, it folds. Oh, there it goes. A few moments later, we're looking pretty good. Now we're sitting back up almost on the weld there. Uh, same on this side, so we're just, just under four inches back off the front. And that's kind of where I'm taking some of my measurements and making sure we're equal. So I think that's gonna be a lot better. Now my little mounts will come up straight. Jumped on the inside, tacked it there, 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 up there, there, there. It kind of worked out, kind of a solid spot there, there. And then it's on the inner rail of this laser cut bracket there. But everything looks pretty good, nice and solid. Uh, we'll pop the bumper off and I will finish welding it. Or is Alex gonna weld it, no? Yeah. No. Okay, I guess I'll finish welding. We're looking here too, probably makes sense to put some little tabs off of here. Uh, for tighten the bumper up to or whatever eventually went ahead and bolted this bracket to the back of the factory bracket on the headlight Got it positioned in here the way that it kind of was from the factory uh, It does match the 12 inches up that they mentioned in the instructions to here And then otherwise it's just kind of about getting it flat. So now I just kind of use this little spacer here Now I just got to kind of figure out and cut off of this. Hey, there's a bolt. I got to figure out and cut off of this here and uh Take the bars right here that came with the kit and then uh, cut them down more or less something like that to fit up along the top of this crossbar and then this welds to right to the back side of this and then you got a headlight bracket. There it is! Tube front end is pretty much complete other than just finished welding but otherwise everything's in here. Headlight brackets are on now pretty much uh, you guys can see how much I ended up using. Not a ton there and then we're at 12 inches up. We are a little further forward than our original measurement, which tucks the headlights a little bit tighter. Actually, um, the car, the headlights weren't super tight to begin with. So we actually just tighten them up so then the seal fits nice and uh, even around there and everything. So we got the headlights in sitting there. But like I said, I just need a weld. I'll probably just do some like three inch welds crossed here, finish welding that bar. I'll need to pull the headlights out so then you can kind of get up in there and finish welding the lower part of the bar that comes out. I'll probably cut some little pieces to, uh, you know, finish off that. I think uh, we're gonna peel the front end back off. I can do all my finished welding. And then mostly the two front ends done and then we can start working on probably smoothing the bay, cleaning it up, degreasing it, and hopefully getting this thing ready to paint um, at some point because we just wanna freshen up the bay. So uh, we're gonna get this thing peeled off. And front end off. And looking pretty dang good right now. Oh yeah, we will come back and add some little braces there too. Um, but otherwise, now you guys can see how that kind of all came together. Got to finish welding all of that. Finish welding this front tube now that I know everything is where I want it to be. But otherwise, there you guys go. Two front end, fourth gen, F-body Camaro. Salty is looking great. And I cannot freaking wait to put an engine in this thing, start building turbo kit. We've already been looking at some areas to put the turbos, you know, somewhere in there. And uh, that'll be for a later video. So if you guys wanna see some of that, make sure you hit that thumbs up to tell me you like the video. Hit the subscribe button so you see more later and we will see you guys next time.